Good afternoon. Let us wrap out this month of May 2015 with a bang and some violent skies as we will kick the day off with some radar to real life reconciliation so you can see this red cell right now looks like it does have some lightning that little cluster we're looking at right here and current local time 12 13 p.m. the pattern has shifted this is not the pattern that I was expecting so let us all keep our fingers crossed the skies will get as violent as it's humanly possible. I'll be retain focus, remain in focus, and avoid any lens splatter that may occur as a result of precipitation. Well, I do declare the first good score of the day will be a Delta 739 with his brand new split scimitar. Or skimitar or scimitar or splits or whatever the vernacular or nickname has become for these bad boys. This one's bearing them. Oh, look at that sunfield. Very good. Very nice rotation. The 737s often have double within that dog 90 real quick. Maintaining excellent box integrity, excellent rotation, very shallow. And that popped off into the sky. What are you gonna do? The wind is out of a due southerly direction. It is a southerly wind. Interesting, it's fascinating, fascinating. It's still, still raining over there. Maybe it's an additional little pop-up. Either way, it could be something popping up on the back end of this. And yes, there is, according to my non-sophisticated weather radar, which is located here in your face. That cell is this cell. This is just a generalized radar. Oh yeah, see it popped just there. Just pop. And off the south deck, there goes Delta 95 Heavy Tenerita. We are sacrificing south deck scores today, on the most part because of the experiences we had yesterday with the Hartsfield jumping bug. So we have some boilers up here too. Meanwhile, let's get back to our primary weather event, our closest one, which is right here. It's about to smack the city, and unfortunately, I gave my sweet fiance bad advice and told her to go running as soon as possible. Because I thought these things might hold off till two, three o'clock hour. So she might be out running in that. That is headed directly for Mikasa, which is located right around in this area. We bear witness to the passage of a yucky Reginald. I have observed one lightning stroke. One stroke of lightning. This is now a producer. Seems to be strengthening. Does not seem to be affecting our ride at all here. And as can now be evidenced by radar to real life reconciliation, we have lightning production. This is the point behind the whole fancy radar. So I can tell who's producing and who's not. The city is about to be completely immersed. Meanwhile, just a few miles south here at Hartsfield Manor, sweat is dripping from our brow, and we're considering our next move. Perhaps the diplomats? Stay tuned and find out next. There it is. Look who KAL brought us today. The non-side non stick monster machine. Oh, goody, 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 goody on the south side. Again, another sacrificial lamb as I was watched and watching the developing weather. Boils here, boils there, boils everywhere. Let us grab this double, even though it is two relatively worthless scores. Continuing to see the occasional lightning bolt. Oh, just as I say that, a big one. That was good. Oh boy, the north side is starting to pop. The north side of the city, that is. And we get a almost picture perfect double. The non split scimitar 739, but at least his cheeks are clean. So he passes south of the weather system. So this just spat out a pretty nice lightning bolt. You know how I am about lightning bolts. Watch pot never boils. 
No, it does not. That's why we have our secondary camera, because it's always watching. And when it does boil, that camera captures it. And this camera is on the active camera, as we will call it. Nothing occurs. High reps are indicating just a little bit of turbulence. Actually, whoa, look at that. That's a new shower core, a new rain core right there. Ah, see right there, that little spot. Right there amongst all the ground clutter, that is our brand new rain core. This Frontieria provides us with some foreground. It's important for us to continue to pursue radar to real life reconciliation. Come on, Frontierio, how about we reacquire focus? Realize the camera's still traumatized from having the telephone yanked out from in front of it as it was focusing on my weather radar. But aircraft require priority on focus. Grant says it doesn't look too threatening now, but what does Grant know? What do you know, Grant? I'm just teasing. No, this is actually going to make trouble for us, that rain core right there. And it's probably strengthening as this one begins to dissipate and move off to the north. Northeast. We are at the Diplomats Club, right guys? Right, Luke? Yep, sir. And Grant. We're meteorologist and airplane fanatics today. We are going to get rained on in just a second. That actually is coming right now. See? And see, that's that's the real life part. See? And this right here is the radar part of radar to real life reconciliation. We're gonna might as well grab a plane since we are technically plane spotting, whatever that means. So there's a mad dog for you. For you airplane guys. It's kind of a weather program so far. We're gonna start hearing the splatter sound in just a minute. We need to get our shit and recover. I'm gonna have to get my secondary camera and get moving because that is seriously just a second or two away. We are about to get rained upon as is now evidenced by the splatter marks on the ground. But uh, That one can sit for a minute. It's running time lapse. It's a really difficult operation to manage all of these various tasks under these circumstances at one time. The secondary camera is very helpful, particularly in the capturing of lightning bolt. This should be short-lived unless it blows up on top of us. Oh my That's god. Oh my god. Oh my As we try to use Holy the northeasternmost Cinco for shelter, have we have mega discovered hive. Mega Hive! Holy crap! And there is... We gotta get out of here, dude. We are being infiltrated by insects. Yeah, we're gonna have to go to that Cinco. Damn it. We are almost out of control here. We've got Grant playing shoe hand. We've got wasp infestation at the Cinco's. We have just enough drizzle. Okay, one down. We're just gonna take them out one by one with shoe hands. We're just getting everything we can get here as we stand underneath these wasp ridden Cinco's. We're gonna have to come up with a backup plan here. Do you think if you told the people that, like, oh, they lay airport, you can take care of it? Hell no. This is a government-operated airport, and I'm sure it's up to parking deck security. I'd rather just do it myself. It's more fun to play shoe hands with you guys. There's a little rain core up to the north, which you can see if any takeoff spray is produced, even though he is a rear-mounted engine. Mad dog. We are in wet conditions. We are also tripodless human tripod. This allows us to maneuver away from the wasp port when they come diving in our face. We are having a real insect problem all of a sudden. There is no takeoff spray, but it looks weird because it's sunny over there on the end of the runway. We have a 764 who wants to provide foreground. We appreciate that. Just another normal Sunday on the TOC ramp as this mad dog enters a sunny spot. See? The north deck would actually be sunny right now. Really? Yeah. But it's not necessarily the... <laughs> best spot to see things. Take another flyer above your head. I'm just gonna stay still. I got a wasp above my head. I wanna watch him land in the rain even though I might be braving the lens splatter which will inevitably ruin this camera and force me to purchase another one. Now the rain is increasing in a little bit. Oh, what a struggle. But at least the cool raindrops feel great on my face as a mad dog. This is just a mad dog rain show. Mad Dog arrives, runway 26 for right. Damn, that blowing rain. It feels so pleasurable, but I know my camera is screaming in pain with each drop. Threatening to die. 
the sink air might be the best place to go. Let's not lose it because we're stepping out from behind our shelter in order to capture it as far as possible. It passes beyond an awesome looking rain core. Somebody's coming in. Oh, a 753! Wonderful! And Virgin! Here comes our Virgin as Luke tries to provide me with some cover, as much cover as men can muster. I am ruining the Sony, whatever the other name of this camera is, Cybershot. I'm ruining the Cybershot. You're witnessing it. You're witnessing yeah. this, Luke. I mean, now that there's anything visible that will tell you I'm hurting, I'm camera. My box hurts. It just dies one day, but under these circumstances, we can't avoid it. We've gotta be out in the weather and have airplanes at the same time. This is our first actual score of the day. I've been shooting mad dogs all morning. I'd really love to get some thrust reverser spray, so we're gonna run, 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 run. Ah, wasp! Oh my god! Oh, shit. Oh god. Oh, uh, what a nightmare we are experiencing with the insects. And there it is. Oh, we got a thing out. Nice! Look at that! Dirty virgin! Dirty girl! Oh, Spirit Home of the Bear Fair. It's been a while since we've seen you. And we are very excited at the prospect of some short bus takeoff spray. Still raining out there, just enough to piss us off. Still trying to seek shelter under the wasp ridden Cinco. Ooh. And there it goes. That's not as impressive as I was hoping, but I guess that's just because your evil spirit never will impress me. Maybe your rotation will have something better. Jesus Christ! It's starting to come down like crazy! Oh my God. Spirit is leaving in its wake very heavy precipitation. Oh. Jesus, a boiler just exploded right on top of us. Virgin's still out there. Oh, that's goodies. Goodies, headache wow. powder. Very nice. Yeah, it's coming down, boys. yeah dude, that, I thought we were about to get a break. I thought it was about to back off, but no. That is very heavy precip. This Reginald had no idea. Wind shear. Another mad dog just for you. In the sunny rain. This is just bizarre. We're going to let him go beneath the Senko chef. Luke's walking with his umbrella. Man, look at that. It's crazy looking. Whoa. Wicked. Look at that. We're going to get some kick ass thrust reverser spray off this mad dog, I tell you. It is still coming down hard, but completely sunny. Oh, this could make for some excellent storms later. And where's your thrust reverser spray? That's some good stuff. There we go. As the humidity hits us hard, these two hawk loogies. See, that was impressive. And we have nothing more than mad dog. As far as the eye can see, mad dog relative. Another one coming out here. You see this one, two, three, four, five, mad dog. We have Sir France a lot bringing up the rear, Delta 73 heavy and lofty, all approaching the exact same time. A severe thunderstorm is existing right over here. I think that is Challenger. It's certainly, certainly not original. That's a, is that a hawker? Looks very Challengerish to me. Is that what the uh, yeah, Flight Radar 24 says? Okay, it might be, well, maybe, maybe, I don't know. I think this looks Bombardier-ish. Maybe there is a hawker right on this guy's tail because they do like to line up the biz jets. That would be bad for us in our hopes and dreams for the Euro originators. The biz jets will jam that shit up, forcing all the Euros down to the south where we have much less fun than we observe their final approach. Who's the whistler? That's not the is, is that you, Grant? Is that you that does the whistle, or is that Luke? It's a Salt Lake City. Yeah, Salt Lake Fifteen twenty-four. Coming in is this sky right here. I still think might be boiling up something. Doesn't 
15, 24 Wowzers, see? And that's where the rain begins, right there. So this line right here might soon develop into something. And this stuff to ourselves, there are several showers down there that are going to inevitably envelop us. That right there? Yeah, if we don't do something about it. Oh yeah, we got a stack of them coming, baby. We got a stack. So there's our 7-6. There is Lofty. I saw somebody spinning in here. 7-4, that's it. That's Delta 73, and they're all coming to the north side. And the bird to boot. Fluctuating focus is okay as we are just doing reconnaissance on all three heavies. Okay, now we will keep our focus on the 767. It looks standard, his cheeks are clean, no winglets. Very nice. Oh, that breeze feels good. We've become sweat machines out here. Look how much evaporation has already taken place up here. Oh, Lofty is close. I didn't realize how... Lofty's very close. Maybe he's not. Uh, he looks close to me, but they always look close to me, so I always have go-arounds in mind. I don't know. I could just be being alarmist, but... One way or another, I know we got three heavies stacked very, very tightly coming into runway 26 right at this very moment. Oh god, Lofty looks beautiful. Where is it? There! Lofty! Alright, let's... Oh, Sir Francis back there too? All of them? All the Euro originators are coming north? Oh, F, yes. All right, keep an eye on the 7-6. Tell me when he gets off the runway, if he gets... He's off? No, no, he's still on. Still on. I got a 73 heavy, 2 6 Still on. You're 73 heavy. Oh, yeah, he's right now. oh, damn it, I hate those high speed taxiways. They are always ruin the go route. Love Tanza. Wow, this is quite a lucky streak here. We're gonna have to go observe the king. Look at that string of Reginalds. Gross. Oh my god. Oh. Oh my god, I gotta get focused. There it is, coming into the sunshine. Oh, please focus on it. Oh, the brilliance. The brilliance of the mighty Delta 73 Heavy. Oh, wow. We have the weather in the backdrop, the 747, the King the Lion right in our face. It's perfect. We are soaked with both rain and sweat now, as the parking deck has pretty much evaporated from the earlier heavy rain. It's a good sign that we'll see more storms later. It's the water cycle. It rains, it evaporates, it goes back up in the clouds and it rains again, see? Let's, go, let's focus all our attention on maintaining the greatest box integrity of all for this end. And then catching the thrust reverser spray at the end because of the four engine. Actually, you know, Lofty might have been the one who ruined that for us. We forgot to check Lofty for thrust reverser spray. Oh, so fancy. Very good, King. She's back there, or he's back there. Interior, get out of the way. Oh, goody, goody, gumdrop, Sir France a lot. 
The not so mighty frog playing a mighty role today in this four-piece heavy jet session under sweaty and boiling skies. So are we a 300 or a 200? We were a 200 yesterday. Oh, that was too quick with the box. Oh, boy, I drove. Oh man, right the worst time I drove out of focus. Boo for me. Yeah, 7.73. Seven, oh, he does, dude. Fantastic. Back in it, and there. What do you mean? Oh, good, good, good! And there we go, hey, perfect! We have successfully, or I have successfully, shifted positions, arriving at the north deck. There was a hold, appears to be. There is a severe thunderstorm right there for Gwinnett County, and that is disrupting much of the arrival corridor. Some are trying to sneak in here. For real life, you do see a shower this way. There's a little slight rain pour that way. Likely showers this way, and this is where the severe thunderstorm is producing its violence. Up this way, you can even see the lifts, lifts high and boils ever higher to probably 30 to 40,000 feet. It's beautiful and it's disruptive and we love spending time in it. Things appear to be brewing, see? This looks like a brewer right here. There's the rain shaft. You can feel the outflow boundary already. It might start raining on us a lot sooner than I actually think. Oh my, actually this could be getting very close right now. That is swirling up a storm right there. That's literally swirling up a storm. Oh, yes. As you can see, there's rain down there on the south side. It's coming my way and it's getting harder. The lens flatter beginneth and he banketh. Whereabouts of Luke and Grant are unknown as we can only assume they're obtaining the necessary sustenance to continue the weather and airplane show. Oh, finally, the double. The double occurs. Which we attempt. Get oriented, situationally aware of all the goings on at this here airport. We know there's probably some holding, we know there's probably some more storms, some boiling, and some anxiety on flight crew and passenger part alike. We got hit by the tool shed, that is a shame. Sorry, sir. Let's see how quickly he banks out, because they are beginning at right bank pretty early. During the climb out, maybe we're not doing that anymore. Is that right? This right there is this right here. You can get some ground truth, if you will. That appears to be growing in magnitude. Well, goody, this is a good shot from the subterranean angle here on the north deck of Hartsfield Manor Jackson, Manor Jackson, Manor Jackson International Airport. Here's the rain has stopped. Oh, Biz Jetty! Beach Jetty specifically. I want to go back up top now. That the precipitation hath ceased. We get back in the car, drive back up to the top, and get back on the top side because that's where the best views are found. But one never knows when a cumulus boil will pop on top of us, or a thunderstorm, or some kind of significant weather event we would love, but also have to scramble out of the way of. Look at that. Moving off to the north, I'm going to pound the city again, an area that has already been pounded today. Three inches of rain in some parts of the metro area, just in the storms we experienced earlier this afternoon. They temporarily shut down the downtown connector because of floodwaters, and now we are vulnerable for the dreaded flash flood, which sucks. I like violence in the sky, not violence on the ground, so flooding is dumb. But this will certainly not help. Meanwhile, 
over here at the cool looking side. God, look at that! Wowzers! Oh man, that looks dirty. Oh boy. I guess we're just stuck with this mad dog. Is back out to experience the majesty here. Look at that. Dear Lord. It's just magnificent looking. We gotta get topside quickly. Topside now. The rain has passed just temporarily. Boils. Boils, boils, big time stuff all along the eastern side of the freaking city. Oh my god, and then north. North of me, this is uh, exploding and it is about to dump again. On the downtown connector. Oh Jesus, and here comes Grant and Luke. Fantastic. Oh my. It's all kind of moving north, more or less. So it's just gonna sit right here. It's definitely gonna disrupt everything. Right back here with our arrivers. It's crazy. Wow. It's going to cause a real problem for every arriver coming in for the rest of the day, I bet you. A ripple effect, if nothing else. Matt, why don't they just switch the patterns again if it's bad? Because they can't land with a tailwind, even though there's probably a wind shear, there probably is, it's a wind shear tailwind. You gotta take off into the wind, that's the yeah. principle. More lift. Yep. God bless, this thing just looks spectacular. I don't know what else to do, I wanna shoot it all at the same time? Wow! Just when you thought it was too late, more radar to real life reconciliation. So this is that. This is actually not the most efficient way of doing this. This down here, this little storm just now starting to pop, is this and this and right here. The one the con trailers are going into. Wow, sir, is that is a big top. We are completely surrounded on all sides. Whoa! Whoa! That was a big one right there. I definitely got that one on my time lapse camera. Yeah, I like your style, Mad Dog. I think you're a Mad Dog. Cutting in front of the storm. Well, good for you, 2490. I wonder where you're coming from. Grant, any idea? Or Luke? Whatever, whatever. This will probably oh, be... I see which one it is. It's come from Buffalo. Buffalo! Hello, Buffaloians! Or Buffaloans. Buffaloans. Whatever we call you, welcome to Heartlanta on Stormy Sunday, which is helping us from getting into Sunday grumpy mode due to work tomorrow. Storms will do that and make things so much brighter in life. And this 717, I believe, appears to have accomplished this objective and arrived exactly where he wanted it. Runway 26 right. What's that? Spotter. Oh, yeah. I don't know who those guys are. They don't have cameras. Who's coming in here? We now have Peachy the Fox, a new Frontierio, joining this massive takeoff line, if you can see right there. Just totally all inspired by the sights here. But the heat is destroying me. It is extraordinarily humid. What are you doing? Oh, you're nothing but a lousy widget, but you're wobbling your wings around like you want to do something. Well, do something. Go around. Come on. Go around. Fine, don't go around. Just touch down like a normal airplane. And at gate T-17, the passengers shall be deplaning shortly. After an adventurous ride in Atlanta's violent skies here on this Sunday, last day of May 2015. Go around, go around on the south side. Oh boy. 
Wow. Okay. We just saw Delta 94 downwind through that cumulus boil and a 767. Yeah, that breeze feels great. It's coming out of the south. It's a straight southerly wind. Straight crosswind. 767 outbound parade member, the flight number we don't know, destination we don't know, but we do know we have been surrounded by thunderstorms, lightning producers, all of them. Where will he bang? Or will he continue to go straight? Who is back here turning on to final approach? Could that be Delta 94? Oh, he's a go around! Hell yeah! Ain't nobody making it! Ain't nobody making it onto the south runway! Hell to the yeah! And what's behind him? Hey, keep an eye on the triple uh, seven! Trying to yell at them, but they won't listen to me. Another go around, go around, go around. The triple seven is abandoning its approach as well, it looks like. Yep. Actually, it still might be trying to make it. Yeah, it does. I mean, he's a high man, if nothing else. Actually, I don't know what that one is. That's three in a row, right? That's four in a row. I think it's a 767. That, well, I don't know what the hell that is. Yeah, he's going around. That is definitely a triple seven. Third go around in a row. Sure. That is a triple, isn't it? Yeah, I think it's Delta 94. Yeah, Wonder where he's gonna go. Where else can they go but the north side, right? And they, they have to head back into the storm too. Yeah, that's true. Well, that's, uh, that that's storm awesome. is moving farther off to the uh, oh, to is? the east, so it's continuing to move east, which will give them extra breathing room. But still. That is marvelous. AC go around. Now we have go arounds on the north side. The winds are out of order. The winds are out of order, I believe. I was taking a break in my car, enjoying the comforts of air conditioning, and heard the go. I think they've got a tailwind. Oh, we're changing the pattern. You see what's going on here? What? Oh, this could not be worse for those poor passengers who have been sitting on these aircraft. Oh, the excitement abounds as we switch the pattern up. Oh, yeah, see them lining up here? They're lining up to go. Oh, yeah, see, now they're backtracking down the runway to get on the right side. Oh, cool. I have a budding crisis, a budding crisis. Say hello, it's okay, Luke, you don't have to hide. I have lost my cellular telephone. So we're trying to temper our enthusiasm, but I appear to have lost my cell phone. Giving me no ability to track or predict weather or communicate with fiance. It's also 3.30 right behind Yeah, I see that. That is definitely 3.30. So Delta 94 in a roundabout way is finally coming in. I cannot believe my phone is gone. I left it on the roof of my car and drove off and then heard a big smack as it came flying off into the roadway. Be crushed by traffic that's behind me. That's what happens when I get overstimulated. Sensory overload with storms and airplanes, I start to forget very critical items. Today I have definitely done a doozy. It's been a doozy. Shit fire. I cannot believe I have allowed my cellular phone to get away from me. I just cannot believe it. And that's going to kick the Sunday Grumpies in early, I tell ya. So we experienced one wacky ass day here at Hartsfield Maynard. We have Triple Seven and the Mad Dog trying to steal the show with his noise. Triple Seven and a 8330 behind it. Yeah, he was ready to get home. That's a long flight in Sarita. Well, this might be grand finale, so I can go get a new cellular telephone. How fun is that? Spending unnecessarily. Spending lots of money unnecessarily.
Just what? What flight number? Oh, uh, tail number is. Oh, I can't tell. I'll be able to tell it when I get it home in my big box. Right now, I'm so distracted by the fact that I don't have a cell phone. I don't know what to do with my cell phone. As they search through looking for my missing cell phone. Just kidding. I'm going to have to go to the AT&T store and cut this one short. Son of a whore. Son of slut factor. Is he in there, Pete? I believe this is going to be our grand finale as old Maddie now has new responsibilities, much bigger fish to fry. It's time to obtain, through the expenditure of valuable finances, a new cellular telephone because of my dumbass. If I can't real life to radar reconciliate, I don't want to be alive. I don't want any real life. Uh-oh, you better hurry up, Peachy. You got an A330 back here trying to race you. Hurry, Peachy. Come on, girl. Hurry, boy. Whatever you are, you crazy looking dog, cat, cat, dog, Peachy the Fox. It's time to find an AT&T store. Isn't that ducky? There's an AT&T store here in the Hapeville area. Stay tuned and find out next. Or maybe not. Oh, up, up, up and away into the dark eastern sky.